So this is a good length for a skewer, okay. a rosemary skewer. And we'll take a few of them. So I'll grab one, you grab another. Yeah, just bend it at 90 degrees. And That's this it. variety is? This is Tuscan blue, because which is the, the, because of the blue bottoms, yeah, yeah. which is silver, but you know. Blue. For some reason, that's synonymous with, with blue. Okay. So then you start, you, I like to leave a little bit at the top. Okay. And then you just pull down. And since we're in my farm full of rosemary, we can just kind of throw that out. Back use to, it yeah. Back to where you came from. Exactly. And then the next one, just pull it. And that's it. So then this is going to be the skewer for our beef kebab. I like to take the, you know, put a nice angle on With this. that beautiful knife, you're cut, beautiful cutting this knife. rosemary. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Why not? And so then you get the nice sharp yeah. point because we're gonna have to poke through some meat. This is a sirloin. You can do this with just about any cut of beef. The nicer the beef, the thicker the cut can be. Okay. This is a pretty nice beef. It's so we've beautiful. got yeah. So we've got a nice thick cut. <laughs> okay. Um, but skirt steak would be another good choice. Which is so Brisket, hot right now. Skirt steak but it all works and... fine. If okay. it's going to be a tougher meat, thinner slice. All right. And if it's really tough meat, beat it up and then slice it. Oh yeah, so, the pounding yeah, the like pounding, our moms exactly. used to do, right? Salt and pepper is, is already it? on this okay. guy. So then. You take it and pass it through like a needle. Okay. And so you doubled it. it all the so way did up. you do one? Let's see. Let me try and do this now. Did you do one at a time? You did one, one time. and then over. And then the over. Okay. And then you get it to the end and open it up. Oh. That I wouldn't have done on my own. So there <laughs> well, you go. You got the chef. Here. That's right. Oh, and you're doing back to back. Of and course, we're, we're yeah, doing we're a whole. Put three pieces. Per. Okay. And then you do the same thing. And what I like to do is make sure that it matches. You want to make like that S. Oh, aren't you yeah. fancy one? Think really? About plating. Okay, <laughs> I see that. So now we just put them on the grill. You want to put them flat side down. Doesn't matter which side you put it on. Okay. There's no wrong. Flat way. side is flat side. Yeah. Okay. This is the one I did. <laughs> it looks, looks a little good. different. Yeah, it looks fine. You can already smell it cooking. Yeah. There we go. Okay. You just let it sit there for a little while and start to cook, and then you're going to flip it. So this is uh, white wine vinegar okay. and a little sugar and lime juice. OK. And then I put uh, finely chopped ginger and more Fresno chili in there, chopped up as well. It's yeah. really, really That good. looks fantastic. Yeah. And that's the base. And then we're going to take cilantro, basil, and mint, chop them up. Your basil, mm -hmm. when we drove up here to start, is Gorgeous. That's really good. So we're very fortunate here. We're in the, the Santa Clarita River flows right through here. So we're in a fertile uh, agricultural valley. I'm gonna flip it. I smell the I smelt the flip. I smell it, yeah, exactly. Smell the it's flip. Slipped, I think we gotta term that. Smell the flip, right? Yeah, exactly. You can do it. You can smell it. Yeah, that's perfect. That's the amount of char you wanna see. That really does look great. I like to chop this nice and fine. Okay. And you can take all three ingredients and chop them at the together. Same time. You don't have to do them individually. I'm kind of weird. One of the chefs taught me to roll it like a cigar. To chiffonade. To chiffonade my yeah. herbs, yeah. but I this... chiffonade herbs if I've got a food critic to cook for. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Good. But most people don't notice and don't care. Well, I mean, the aromatics coming from it just naturally and while you're cutting it are yeah. amazing. So exactly. And there's a lot of love in it doing it this way. Yeah, there is. So actually. we pop it in there and then just stir it mm. around. Okay. Mix it up. Yeah. Mix it up. You want this to be pretty well cooked. I'm, and those look ready to me. Tell so, me why you don't. I'm a medium, I'm a medium rare person, so why wouldn't I? I too am a medium rare person, but on a skewer, it's just not necessary. You got very thinly cooked okay. or very thinly cut. Let me see this plate. Yep. Very thinly cut meat. It cooks quickly. And you really want it to be cooked all the way through. Okay. It's just, I find it better this way. They so, look great. They are gonna be really mm -hmm. good. Definitely gonna be good. Yes? Yeah, just like that. Do I have a job? You have a job. If, if I need a job, Nathan, a job. can I come and work for Farmhouse? You absolutely farmhouse? can. Okay. If your awesome showbiz doesn't doesn't turn out, <laughs> you can work at my restaurant. Oh, OK. Well, job security. Job security, exactly. Yeah, you're hired. There you go. Like that? That's perfect, yeah. That's Voila. It. It's super easy. Idea. In the refrigerator, I'm doing a party. I'm setting them up. I'm doing, I've got 50 of them. Yeah, yeah. And then I've got, I would do a sauce bar with these. Like I'd maybe yeah, do this, this one, one then, put them out and let people mm -hmm. add the sauce to them, whatever they want. Totally. So, and then dipping and so oh, it's totally fun. That yeah, and you great. can play with these. I mean, this is just one recipe. Right? You can do so much with them. It's a lot of fun. I love a shish kebab this summer. I love a shish kebab right now. Right now. You want to yeah. try it? Yeah, I do. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> I'm just taking mine right off. Let's just take it right off, exactly. It's finger food. Finger food, here it goes. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, I mean, the meat's delicious, but mm -hmm. that sauce, yep. your herbs make your food. I agree. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. It's so fresh. It's really good. good it's job, just let, let the ingredients speak. And you're doing it. You're just doing such a great job. It's delicious. Thank you.